Inside Science TV. We are working in the context of sound design. So sound designers are the people that design the sound for products. For instance, the sound of a car, the sound of a vacuum cleaner, the sound of a camera. We're studying how people imitate sound with, with the voice and with gestures. So to answer this question, the first thing we did was to record a lot of people imitating a lot of sound with their voice using gestures. And so we had thousands of videos and we watched these videos. We had several hypotheses. One hypothesis was that um, maybe the gestures that you are making are really describing the shape of the sound. So if you have a pitch rising up, maybe what you will be doing would be whoop, raising your hand. Or if you have a sound that is repetitive, you will do like chick, 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 chick. And well, that was our first ideas, but watching the, these videos, we were not quite sure. Every time a sound is noisy, so noisy means uh, this kind of sound, instead of tonal, which would be e. Every time the sound is, is noisy or have this kind of texture, people will start moving their hands or their fingers or their arms very rapidly. We had the impression that people were not really imitating the sound with their gestures. They were kind of doing more signs or symbols. Eventually, what we want to do is to create um, software in which you're interacting with your computer with, just by moving your hands and making noise with your voice. Like, if you want to create a sound that makes you just do it, and the computer understands what you're making. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.